Hello and welcome back to this Trails in the Sky. Let's play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we did some monster hunting, but today we're gonna continue on to Urba Villa and check in with this lost child quest from the guild as we head to the Royal Villa and talk to Raymond, who you might remember as Niles' informant during the first raid to save Chloe at the villa. So, it seems only fitting that Chloe is one of the ones to come along with us today. We're also taking Olivia just to box up. I think you'll see Chloe, Agate and Estelle with us pretty much the entirety of the game with a, a changing uh, cast of other, other members in support. As I'm sure we'll eventually get ourselves some new... Uh, new new partners along with this adventure. As that's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Who have we got first? Estelle. Let's just attack one of the kitty cats. Uh, as well as close get one out of the way. We'll do a neat little uh, fire there, focusing his power. It's not too much. I'm not too bothered about Chloe taking some of the hits. I say that and she dies. <laughs> That is annoying, but not the end of the world. Let's use a Thilas on to Chloe, just to make sure that she gets the XP so than anything else. And then attack with Estelle as she gets a crit as we can deal with the final cat. There we go, and it makes the most sense like that. Right, so on to the villa. We must speak to Raymond and consider about this child. And it is north, is where we were told to go. So it seems only for two. That's where it starts. And Agate gets the first go anyway. Let's use the final breakdown and just take care of our bunchies at once. Take care of three of them. That's what we like to see. One there. And a crit. And then Olivia should be able to deal. The final shot. I did add Ming Yang and the defense three to the proceedings. Um to our all placements. Holy fuck. Let's use an art for this. <laughs> this feels like an art specific problem. Maybe if I push this guy back a little bit. That's annoying. We want to get as many of these guys in this hole as possible. As Chloe is going to die as a Zagate. Hey, maybe we Maybe we're being a little bit, a little bit steadfast here. We'll do this. The spire can take out a whole bunch of them anyway. Nice done. One more. Even. <laughs> oh god damn it! We are we are the worst, ladies and gentlemen. We are the worst in this game. Uh, right. We've got a Garte here. Let's use. Let's just attack. Fuck it. Let's just attack the guy in the middle. First. As we'll use a spiral flare. Or maybe we'll do this. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, and then we shall simply attack the guy. And then let's use this. Let me show you the truth. I'm so sorry. Okay, we've healed up slightly, so we should at least be able to to live a little bit as we will now use uh we'll use stone impact, why not? And then We'll do a Durango Edge. We should be able to take out these guys. Nicely done. <laughs> this many cats should not be an issue for us, but apparently it is. As we need to heal though, so let's do that now. <laughs> How very, very, uh, very noob of me, but that's fine. Do we have any reviving? We don't, so we're going to have to use the augments. Luckily, Estelle doesn't have that much e EP either. Right, EP charge on Teclo. Onto Estelle, who will use her Thilas on Chloe. And then we shall use Letir here and just get everyone slightly up to speed. 
Not good enough, boys and girls. Not good enough. As we found a load of syrup there. Always handy. Right, let's make our way. We could just be able to beat this dude down. He's uh, As we make our way to the villa. I thought I'd come back close to the villa. Royal Avenue. Don't tell me that this is... We're not, not at the villa already. I've always come back at a very, very stupid point. But we'll, we'll venture up and then we'll soon go. I am, of course, getting lost everywhere. Because it is me. Let's we get a critical there with a style. If all else fails, hit it with a stick, is what I say. This might be, I might have accidentally found myself going... <laughs> going the wrong way. Is this towards Grand Cell? It is. Alright, cool. I'll see you once we're at the villa. See you guys in a sec. Right, I believe we're here. This must be the entrance to the villa. It is. <laughs> the Royal Villa is sort of nostalgic in a way that that was an awesome adventure kind of way. It seems a little bit more lively this time though. The villa is usually open to the general public. Many people use it as a place to relax. Such refined setting, it speaks to my muse. Perhaps I should wield my loot in the service of further rest and healing for everyone here. Your sentiment of comers, maybe. I see the point about the vacation spot, though. There's lots of families here. I bet our lost kid was with a family like that. So, let's go find this Raymond guy. Right, let's go. I agree, let's go. Let's have a quick run around here. Ooh, we can fish. Hook line. Let's use the Pisces heart. What bait would we like to use? We will use the red fly. As we get a hit, what have we managed to get ourselves? A liberal carp. And a spat out of terror bomb, always handy. It's not that showy. It's kind of nice. They've been going cuckoo since like forever. So let's go find Raymond. Oh dear, oh dear. The braces we had in minutes. Where could she have gone? Hello. Oh yes, may I ask what you Wait you're Hello, I guess you remember us. How could I forget? I owe you all greatly for what you did at the villa. Oh wait, that's is something wrong, sir? Uh, no, I'm mistaken. Just look like someone I know, miss. Oh, you do remind you of your girlfriend, perhaps? No, not at all. Uh, so I take it you are with the team Ellen said would be coming? Yes, that's right. Is everything okay, though? You seem kind of troubled. It's about a lost child, actually. She's, uh, how to put this, lost again. She told me, let's play hide and seek, and just vanished. I've been looking for her ever since. Oh, crap. I'll find her soon, I swear. Please wait in the lounge. You know where that is, right? Yeah, I do, but you don't like having some trouble. Sure you don't want a hand? Are you sure? I don't want to impose. Hey, we're already on the case, right? Tell us her name and what she looks like and we'll get a look in. Thank you. She's a preteen girl, wearing white and a pretty dress and a black hair ribbon. She never gave her name, though. You didn't find out her name? Seriously? She wouldn't tell me. Every time I asked, she just said, It's a secret. I think she came here with her family, but I couldn't find her parents or anyone who knew her. My only option was to call you in the end. I see. Uh, hide and seek her. Energetic little girl you got there. Not sure I'll say energetic. Precious and whimsical. I've got distinction. She was enjoying toying with the adults around her. Ooh, a prank-loving kitten, then. Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, she could have... Where could she have gone up to? Follow sure she hasn't left the building, but... In other words, we must search the entire building, including the courtyard. A perfect place for a game of cat and mouse. <coughs> I'll wait in the lounge, then. When you find her, please bring her here. Will do. Okay. Okay, let's send down the kitten, child. So, white dress, black hair ribbon. I can't imagine she'd be hard to find in an outfit like that. We can see what kind of girl she is. Let's get searching. Hmm, so, hide and seek around the villa, it seems to be. I can't remember how big this place was. None of these people fit their description. I am not going to speak to anyone. Simply because I do not want to lose brace points if they're an option here. Ah! He is too late! Too late, I say! Cash you, Philip. How much time is it take to purchase a magazine and some donuts? Blast it! How long did you intend to keep me? Hey! Oh. Y you! What's up with this dude? 
you doing? Oh, joys of joys. Hello, Uncle. Have you been well? I have no shame, Claudia. You and you, Brigade. You, because of you, all because of you. I have been forced into this life of shame, house arrest of all things. Put it on yourself, though. I wouldn't really say it's fair, fair to say it's our fault. You're the one who brought in Colonel Rich's plan anyway, you know. You should be grateful to live in a kingdom as forgiving and merciful as the Baron. Where this uh, Baronia, your nobility, would only serve to speed up your gallows. Oh, I confess, imprisoning her majesty was out of line, perhaps. Richard may have suggested, but I should have just stained him. So you actually admit you were wrong about the whole thing? That's pretty humble coming from you. Do not misunderstand me. I love and respect her majesty. Both as a war and an aunt, she's utterly above reproach. But you, Claudia, to consider naming a little girl like you as successor is simply madness, unacceptable insanity. I... Now just a second. Close, smart, studious, kind, merciful. She's got all kinds of virtues that can attract people to her. Where'd you get off calling her a little girl? Estelle, that's enough. I've always admitted I'm not ready to take the throne. I suppose it's only natural my uncle finds that unpleasant. But Chloe... You did always have some sense, at the very least. But you, Claudia, have always seemed allergic to attending public ceremonies. I am far better known among the citizenry, while you remain a veritable ghost. You have not once publicly demonstrated that you are ready to stand above others. Why? From what I understand, you hide your true identity while living as a student. As if you weren't enough, you even waste your time at some backwater orphanage. She should be presiding over the common arrival at ceremonies, not wallowing in the mud with them. That is the purpose of nobility, to stand above all other men in lordship. It is... it is as you say, uncle. I uh, mean, I don't really know much about the purpose, so you ought to have a point. <laughs> of course I do! But I can say this, Chloe is trying her hardest to figure out what she wants to be, and is helping us out in the middle of her own problems. And she sure as hell doing a lot more for so than some Jew sits doing nothing because he's under house arrest. What do you dare? Estelle. Uncle Doonan, I am trying as hard as I can to find my own path. As I help Estelle, I think by the end of it all, we will know if I have the right to become the next queen or not. <clears throat> so please, hold your judgment until then. What? Ah, oh, this is absurd. I will deal with this no further. Be gone. Tr Trust me, I don't want to stick around. Though, come to think of it, I need a... I gotta ask one thing. Has a girl in a white dress come by here? What are you talking? No, no little girls come by. Be gone. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your donuts. Pardon us. Hmm. I'm finding the urge to strangle that guy. He's acting all like he's the most innocent person in the world while insulting Chloe at the same time. No, his criticism was fairly reasonable, I think. His concept of nobility is perhaps outdated. But he is correct about the qualities one must possess to lead. But wait. I'm not sure I agree with fame being a prerequisite of rightful intelligence, rightful inheritance. Countless other rulers in days past were known upon their... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, countless rulers in the past were known up, upon, upon their ascent. They still performed great works during their respective reigns. Erebonia had one such man. After deaths of all potential heirs due to civil war, one unsuck hero took the throne in their stead. That man is now held as the Emperor who returned Erebonia to its former glory. That was Emperor Drykills, correct? The very same. My point is thus. You have nothing to worry about, Princess. Maybe. He still has a point, though. My readiness, however. To tell the truth, I'm glad we met him here. I think I've gained a new sense of what I'm lacking. Well, I'm glad you got something positive out of it. Anyway, should we find the last girl? Yes, let's. Hmm. So, this is the lounge, correct? We will not go speak to her. I'm on quite yet. But let's have a look in the drawing room. This is a large shining game. Maybe she's hiding under here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Putting that aside, bending over in your current outfit may not be wise, Estelle. Huh? Now do I put this delicately? Your unmentionables are now quite mentionable. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me? <laughs> He's not wrong, Estelle. You ain't wearing shorts no more, so be careful. Right. <laughs> okay. Good to know. There's no one below the table, so we've actually got to search different nooks and crannies, it seems. 
If I remember correctly, there was stuff in here. Beautiful plate. Big pot. Are you kidding me? For once, how the hell would you squish these through the opening? Good point. Very good point. But it was worth checking. Nonetheless, I believe. Uh, fine art line up here. Doesn't appear to be in this room. Let, let me into the rooms. Under the bed, maybe? I see no question marks, so I doubt it is there. Let us go into here. Nothing in the bedrooms. It would appear. This is the one we came out of. Yes, it is. Let's try this room. We have the Libre. The Libre. A girl? No, I haven't seen her. Librarian Petra. You are not of much use to me right now. Uh, okay. Let's check back in here. She's going to be somewhere. Fairly obvious. Can we get upstairs is what I want to know. It's making a fool of the grown-ups. Oh, uh, that is something that they do quite a lot to older people, is it not? Uh, so we can fish there, so let's... She must be hiding somewhere in plain sight. As we come back out here... Everything runs on orbital energy. Not a damn cat. Okay, let's go through the main, into the main hallway. We of course remember being here previously. It's a very dignified room. I should be probably talking this. She is going to be here in the crest room, I'd almost guarantee it. Oh, I was sure that was it. I think she's a little less predictable than that. Hmm. Little less predictable. Where, where could this little, little lady be? The only room we really haven't checked right now is the actual lounge room himself. You're supposed to find a place you can get to by not walking far from the start point. But actually, since you're just a place we haven't checked yet, good point. So we keep searching then. Keep searching. Let's try changing tactics. Still checks on the counter. Hey! Hmm? Something the matter? <laughs> you could say that. Meow. I lost. Of course she's there. What the? Hey, weren't you that kid we met at Ireland? I thought it might be you, Ren. Hell, miss! I'm happy you remembered me. Goodness, I wasn't expecting it to be an acquaintance of yours. So your name is Ren, right? That's right. Sorry for keeping it secret, mister. Don't worry. But Ren, why did you run off and play hide-and-seek like that? I was worried. Because I heard my sister was coming. I wanted to play hide-and-seek with her. So I re worked really hard to find a nice hiding spot. Well, okay. It's kind of incredible that you was us coming, though. You said your braces, right? I heard some braces would be coming. We are, yeah, but we're not the only braces in the world, you know. It could have been someone else. But I believed. I knew it would be the ones to come. You see, and you did see. I don't trust her. I think she's going to be part of the Ouroboros. She's going to be like the the cute 
ravenous bunny. Anyway, <laughs> I can't argue with that logic. Well, more to the point. Where's your mom and dad, kiddo? Are you playing around here on your own? What are you looking at? That's enough out of you, mister. You have no idea how to speak to a young lady. Oh, for it. Well, I, Lady Wren, am feeling generous today, so I'll forgive you. Where did Mama Papa go? I'm not so sure either. Wait, you don't know? Not at all. I came here with Mama Papa to play. But after lunch, Papa gave me some real serious look and said, Papa has something important to do, so he and Mama have to say, say goodbye for now. But don't worry, once it's done, we'll come get you. Be a good girl until Papa comes back, alright? They just... What the hell? Everybody... I'm already 11, so I said I'll be good. After all, Papa and Mama left. Are you serious? You have to be seriously kidding me. I certainly wasn't expecting something like that. What should we do? It seems quite beyond just finding her parents at this point. Tell me about it. I got it. What do you think we should do? Yeah, it's fine. It's part of the job. We can't just leave her here. Don't worry, Raymond. We'll take care of this girl for now. Huh? Hey, Ren. Do you want to visit the Capitals Bracer Guild with us? I bet we'll be able to find your Papa and Papa easy peasy. Really? But Mama said that I had something important to do to wait here. It's okay. We'll definitely find them. Trust in Mrs. Stell, okay? Hmm. <laughs> okay then. I'll go. Thank you, Mrs. Stell. Okay, stick close by though, Ren. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Thank you again. Take good care of her. Leave it to us. Like Estelle said, back to the Guildhouse. Okay. They're going to be part of Orboros, or they're going to be part of the Erebonian Empire, I would hasten. I guess they are part of the signing committee. And really, Ren is the master behind all of this. So, back to the Guildhouse we must go. As I get lost here in the herb scenic route once, once more, I would say that it's most definitely going to end up happening. Is that I will get lost. Some things are certain. We've already got that chest, that's good. Uh, so yeah, some things are certain. Jay getting lost in this area is one of them. As we get a nice, no, but a nice hill, they've called for the big backup. That's fine, I think, between... Yes, run away, Red, please. Do not get involved with the Sharkies. That's one down. And then we can use Final Break. Yeah, so Ren's, Ren's gonna come up bad. I'm telling you. Don't trust her. Don't trust her for a second. Uh, if I know my JRPG for holes, as we get a whole bunch of level ups, that is very, very handy. Um, she's not to be trusted. However cute she may appear to be, do not trust the creepy girl. As we find ourselves on Royal Avenue. So, back to... Ah, yes! Ah, you are. Huh? Oh, Philip! How, how have you been? Your concern? Your concern does me too much credit, your highness. I hope you and Mrs. Stella. Have you been to the villa recently? We have, actually. We were, um, busy in the capital, I take it. Yes, I was making some patches on the orders of his, his Highness the Duke. Do you by chance encounter his Highness while you are at the villa? We encountered him, alright. We wanted to be nice and say hello, but, uh, it's been some time since the unpleasantness. <laughs> From your expressions, I take it he had some thoughtless... something thoughtless to say to you once again. As his retainer, I have the... Please have my utmost apologies. Oh, you don't need to apologize for him, Philip. I have to admit, I was a little worried. When I heard he was placed under house arrest, he seemed like he used to be taking it well, however. It's kind of you to say so. Now I fear I must be off, if you pardon me, Wyness. Hmm. Guess Philip's job is even harder now. He's been taking up Dunan since Dunan was young, right? He's been doing his retainer for the past 20 years, from what Grandmother tells me. I believe he was the member of the Royal Guard before then. Really, Philip? Um, I guess you really can't judge a person by books. Huh? You really shouldn't underestimate him. Even I can tell he's not just any old guy. Huh? What do you mean, Ren? You know, like how he can walk with his eyes closed? I'm, sh I'm sure I can do that. <laughs> I think they just narrowed Ren, not closed. This means he noticed when his eyes are surprised, right? Really? I didn't. I want to see, I want to see. Maybe I can get a good look next time if I surprise him. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But to the guildhouse we go. Yeah, I don't trust Ren. 
I don't trust the parents either. Some shit's gonna happen. Don't trust the cute girl cover. As let's make our way back to Grand Cell. Oh, let's get back to the guild. We need to talk to Ellen about Ren. There's that, but our army contract should be showing up by now. Don't forget about that, right? Oh, for crying out. What's wrong? Are you gonna show me the guild place, right? Well, well, my lady, please lend me your hand. I, Olivia Lenheim, shall have the honor of escorting you. No, thank you. I'd rather Miss Estelle show me. My disappointments are ceaseless. Sorry, Olivia, no luck. Come on, Ren, I'll show you the Bracer Guild. Hey! So that's what we're doing. Our army contact will be coming up soon. But... We're back, Ellen. Oh. Hi, Estelle. Hello again, Miss Bright. We seem to be running into each other quite a bit these days. Well, hello there, Colonel Sid. You thought the old mind might send you, Sid. You're back from Laceton Fortress, I see. That's right. I just arrived here a little while ago. I'm um, one of the patrol ships. I apologize for the wait. No, it's okay. We actually had a little job of our own to take care of. Huh? Speaking of which, would that young lady be? Oh yeah, there she is. She went, some stuff went down, so we had to bring her along. Hey, Ren. We've got some things we need to talk to the army man with. Can you wait on the second floor? Is this work stuff? Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I don't mind. You're just like Papa. Always, always work, work, work. I really don't like that very much. <laughs> it's Ren, right? Do you want to talk for a little while? I want to get to know you. With you? Well, okay, I guess we could. Okay. I'll be on the second floor, Estelle. Makes sense. Put the kids together. Saved by Tina. Well, your important situation can wait for now. The Sarah the Colonel sit first. Sure. Lay it on us, Sid. Thank you. I'm in a hurry myself. So this is an official request from the Royal Army. There's a series of incidents we'd like you to investigate. Instance? Why does the way you say that make me shiver a bit? You're aware of the non-aggression pact, yes? I'm afraid threatening letters have been delivered to all parties involved in the signing. Someone's threatening the treaty? That's not good. What did the letters say exactly? Please have a look. To all parties involved in a non-aggression pact, Immediately back down from this act of deceit and false compromise. Should you not, a great disaster will be visited upon you. What in the... Yeah, that's a threat, alright. Is this the whole thing? Yes, this is the entire thing. As you would have noticed, there is no name or indication of a sender. Normally, I'll simply dismiss it as a prank, however... However, something about the situation makes you believe it's more than just a bad joke, yes? <laughs> yes, it's the volumes of letters sent, you see. First arrived in Layston. Copies were sent to the Airship Company, Gradsville Cathedral, Hotel Roanbaum, and the Liberal News Service. Then copies arrived at the Aeroponian and Calvert Embassies, Herb Villa, and even Grantsell Castle itself. Nine letters in total. Who'd send that many letters? Yes, we. Oui. That would be a lot of work for a prank in protest. I can see why the army would set up. I mean, we would start to get concerned. I don't get it, though. The airship company, Liberal News, the friggin' hotel, and church? They don't seem to have anything to do with the signing. They're not totally unrelated, to be honest. The airship company should be sending out charter vessels to very Imperial Republic officials here. They will, of course, be staying at the Rome Bomb. Furthermore, a church, or specifically Archburg Kern of the Cathedral, has asked to be the observer. The Liberal News is preparing a special part to the pack and signing for weeks. So they are all connected somehow. So we have any idea who's behind it? That would be a difficult question to answer. That is incredibly international matter, meaning anyone from Liberal, Erebonia, or Calvert could be responsible. We, oui. the Warhawks in either Empire or the Republic for starters. It could even be someone from another country entirely who isn't happy to see three countries working together. Of course, there's lots of suspects in Liberal as well. And we can't forget the obvious answer, the society. So what exactly do you want us to investigate here, Sid? Right then, the mission. We would like for you to investigate all locations that have received letters, and see if anyone has any further leads. Minus Lace and Herber, that is. We'll handle those. The other seven locations are yours. So, Airship Company, Grand Cell Cathedral, Rome Bomb, Liberal News, Aerobody Embassy, Calvert Embassy, and Grand Cell Castle. That will involve a bit of walking. More to the point, uniformed soldiers asking around would it attract a great deal of unwanted attention. 
Now that you lack an intelligence division, it makes sense to ask the guild to help with investigate such matters. As embarrassing as the situation is, you're exactly right. Without the functional intelligence division, we're very limited in what we can do. However, the new general plan from top brass is that to have the guild help us with as many tasks as possible. This is simply one case of that. Oh really? Thanks a heap, Dad. Yeah, that's about what I expect from the old man. I must admit it was my request to ask for you, however. I've been placed in charge of the defense of the capital region until the ceremony is signed. I would like very much for the information as I can to obtain in order to prepare a proper defense. Can I ask you to take this job? Well, I do want to help, but we're really kind of hip deep in another case. That girl, right. Let us hear your report on the situation now. I see. An abandoned child is a problem you simply cannot ignore. Uh, who do such a thing? It's kind of freaking me out too. I actually met her parents once briefly. They seem like a really thoughtful, loving couple. They adore Ren from what I saw. I think I have something really, really serious happen to them to make her leave her. Possibly. They might have gotten entangled in something they want to keep their child out of. See an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, however. Huh? Renee and her parents are foreigners, remember? You need to inquire at the hotel and embassies regardless. Oh, hey, I think I know where you're going with this. I agree. And it just so happens they got threatened. We want to check the airship company too, can't we think? I'll put out a general at all the army posts. Um, watch out for appearance as well. Should they pass through any of the gate checkpoints, we should know. Thanks, Colonel. Sounds like you take the job after all. May you leave your investigation itself to us. Be sure more fun to report in paper and in person, however. Yes, I prefer to avoid telephones to avoid risk of interception. You'll be able to find me at Herb Royal Villa, beginning today, actually. Sorry for the extra trouble, but could you ask you bring the final report there in person? Sure. We'll see you at the villa once we know what's up. I wish you luck, then. We decide to split up the investigation. We'll head to the embassy's grant sell new liberal news. Well, Agate would investigate the cathedral. I should come here as own. Okay, we'll be heading. Tita Ren, sorry to leave you two behind. It's okay. We're going out for shopping. Uh, what? Sorry, Estelle. Ren really wants to visit a department store. Why, that's how I remember things, Tita. As I recall, you're the one who said you wanted to look at all the stuffed animals. Ren! Well, um, I know you're bored, Ren, but since I'm not sure when we'll find something out about your parents, I'd like for you to wait here. Come on, is that so fair? Double, double do I stairs? Oh, I'd be cool. Tita's with her. They should be fine. If they just go out shopping and stuff. I guess so. Okay, Tita Ren, we'll be back by this evening, so you need to be back by then too, okay? And the capital's already in place. Don't get lost. We will, we won't. Let's go. After you. See you, everyone. They became friends fast. Yeah, it's easy to become friends at that age. Man, youth. I feel all old now. Although, Tita and Ren together. Why does that conversation send a chill of doom down my spine? Oh, I think they'll be fine. And Tita's kind of easy to push around, though. I get the feeling Ren might try to drag her all kinds of stuff. That might be a good point. Oh yeah, Ellen. Did you get the names of the kids' parents? It took an insistent asking, but she eventually gave them. Father is Trader from Crossbell. Harold and Sophia hate one of their names. Trader, Crossbell, Harold, Sophia. Okay, got it written down. I got it too. Alright, let's get this investigation started. So, remember, Stell's group will visit the MCs, Grindstone Castle, and Liberal News. Zin Oliver, we will be counting on your aid at the MCs. Fear not, my green smile can open any door. We'll make sure you see the ambassadors, your highness. Your help would be invaluable in Grand Castle. Please introduce Estelle to whoever can help best help best help our investigation. Of course. As far as the world news, I believe you are the one in for that, Estelle. Yeah, I can bug not about it. He kind of owes me at this point. That leaves the Cathedral Airship Company in Rome. I got it. Good luck with those. No problem. Shouldn't take long. Let's go. Oh, so much talking. Time to go questioning then. Where should we start? Don't think it matters too much. If you want to go to the Calvert Embassy, you've got a free pass with me around. I can introduce you to Elsa whenever. I, of course, can get us into the Arabonian Embassy. They should, glad to, uh, they, they should be glad to escort us if I introduce myself at the gate. Of course, I doubt it would rather be very hard for me us to get into Grand Cell. It might be wise simply go straight there and speak with Grandmother. I kind of doubt Liberals will give us any trouble either, so, so let's pick our direction and go. Next time! If you guys have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the distant future. Peace.